So we're a proper building site now. We've got a gate. We've even got a keep out sign. That barn is staying. Here's the old house. Taking the tiles off to let the bats go and find another home. And into the utility room. We've removed the roof and removed some of the timbers that were holding the roof up. The toilet has a door back on again and is working at the moment. Round into the kitchen, all the units have gone. The ceiling's gone everywhere, I won't mention that again, that'd be a bit tedious. The boiler's gone, the sink's gone, the plumbing's gone, the electrical sockets have gone, the radiators have gone. That's it really. The cupboard's gone. The water tank's gone, yeah, not long before all of this wood is going to be removed. It's rather a nice look while it's like this and the sun shining. I like it. The purple paint is still here. The parts of the fireplace have gone. Gone to good new homes, we hope. The parquet flooring has gone to a new home. Oh yes, there's a good video of me and Paula lifting up the parquet flooring. All that's left is the shadow of it. And the sunroom, because it's the still got a roof, has become storage for the storage of the waste that needs to be removed carefully. That's asbestos waste. Everything. And plasterboard waste. Plasterboard. And it's all... Dry. Stone dry in here. Skip coming later this week. So there's piles of bricks like this in various places that have come out from underneath the suspended floor. The, gone. the bath has gone. The toilet's gone. The vanity unit's gone. Everything's gone. So the floor's lower because the floorboards have gone from the passageway and this bedroom there was a sink in the corner there that's gone that's where the radiator was the floorboards have gone to a new home yeah you can put a clip of their new location that'd be good and these are some of the floor joists that we took out from the suspended floors. That's all that's left of the shower. I think this base is probably quite solid. Going to need a bit of work to get that out. Here's some more of the bricks that came out from under the floor. All his bedroom. Oh, front bedroom. Let's get the terminology right. And we can see the tree through the roof. The ceiling seems so high because the floor has been lowered. out along the corridor. More coverings gone, revealing the quarry tiles. Two layers of floor covering have come out from here, revealing the cement and the drain cover. And that was a walk inside the house which is called the quarry. Oh, we've got a whole load of stuff stored in here as well, waiting for um, skips to start running in a regular fashion. And we've got storage of scrap lead here as well. An empty oil tank.
and more scrap waiting to go to the dump. <laughs> 